Edward Hartley Angle, was the most dominant, dynamic and influential figure in the world of orthodontics. He was known as the, father of modern orthodontics. He had developed a passion for simplicity and design, and apprenticed himself to a dentist at his mother's request. Edward Angle was born on a farm in Pennsylvania on June 1, 1855. He was the fifth of seven children. He graduated from Pennsylvania College of Dentistry in 1878. Being at heart, an inventor, the field of general dentistry offered little interest in original mechanical investigation. Angle became keenly interested in orthodontics. Despite of many technical problems and frustrations in treatment, which irritated, motivated and inspired him, he later developed a standard appliance. Angle believed that a standard appliance should have five properties. It should be simple, stable, efficient, delicate, and inconspicuous. In 1880, Angle introduced the first real appliance. It consisted of the jack and traction screw with a pushing action. It was combination of adjustable clamp band of exchange and regulating screw of Dwinell. In 1887, he introduced the Angle system. Later he was appointed to chair of orthodontia and dental department of University of Minnesota. In the year 1888 he demonstrated expansion arch and its auxiliaries in a lecture to Iowa State Dental Society. In 1894, he became a professor of orthodontia at Marion Sims College, receiving his degree the following year. The concepts of prosthetic occlusion was developed in the late 1800s. According to Angle, the best balance, harmony, proportions of the mouth and its relation to the other features, require that, there shall be a full complement of teeth, and each tooth shall be made, to occupy its normal position. Based on this principle, Angle developed a classification of malocclusion in the dental cosmos in the year 1899. Based on Angle's postulates, the upper first molars are the key to occlusion as they are the most remarkably stable landmark in craniofacial anatomy. The upper and lower molars should be related, so that, the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper molar, occludes in the buccal groove of the lower molar. And all the teeth should be positioned in the, line of occlusion. Based on Angle's classification, it has four classes, starting with, the normal occlusion. Class 1 malocclusion. Class 2 malocclusion and the Class 3 malocclusion. Rousseau, who was a Genevan philosopher, writer, and composer, emphasized the perfectibility of man. This led Engel to believe that every person has the potential for an ideal relationship of all 32 natural teeth. Edmund Whirlpool, an American painter, played an important role in the development of orthodontics. Angle consulted to him, for the ideal facial form. Angle came to a conclusion that, the ideal facial aesthetics for a person, would result, when the teeth were placed in ideal occlusion, for that person. In 